Hello there, my name is Miss Miller and I am one of the dance teachers here at the Associated Sixth Form. So I teach on A-level dance as well as BTEC Performing Arts. The BTEC Performing Arts course is a very exciting course and we take students who study dance, drama and music. We often teach it holistically as a musical theatre course, however we have had students that are just straight actors or just straight dancers or just straight singers. You don't need to be assessed in all three, but you will take classes in all three. So we have a specialist dance teacher, a specialist drama teacher and a specialist music teacher who um, you will take classes with. In terms of the actual course, there are four different units over the course of the two years. The first unit is looking at practitioners and we look at a range of different practitioners for the dance, drama and the music. So we look at the work of Andrew Lloyd Webber for music, we look at the work of Bob Fosse who choreographed Chicago and Cabaret for the dance and then we also look at um, Brecht for the drama. The assessment for that unit looking at those practitioners looks at their influences, their background and their repertoire and you will research them individually but also in class and undertake an exam. The exam is slightly different to normal examinations in the fact that you are allowed to take in some notes to the exam. So you will spend a few weeks preparing those notes and then take them into the exam to inform your um, answers. The next unit that you will look at is unit two and it's all about developing your skills. That could be within dance, within drama or within music or around all three of them. So you will take part in practical lessons and the course is very, very heavily practical based in those three areas of specialism. You will pick up areas of strengths and areas of weaknesses and aim to improve your weaknesses across the course. You also will produce a presentation that looks at professionals that are working in the industry and you will also look at doing a portfolio which logs your personal skills development looking at the skills that you're wanting to gain based on the professionals that you have already researched and that assessment is a purely coursework based assessment you'll do a practical performance and then you will submit your portfolio when we come on to year 13 there's another two units the first unit is unit 27 very much like the skills development unit but this time you are developing skills within musical theatre. So again, within dance, drama and music, but this time the repertoire that you will undertake will be based around musical theatre. Currently, we look at the musical A Chorus Line and everybody is allocated different roles and you will perform one of those roles and develop your skills within that musical. You also create a presentation all about musical theatre, the different types of musicals that there are out there, the different types of numbers, how dance, drama and music is used in musical theatre, and produce a presentation that encompasses all of those elements. So you'll also produce a portfolio which will document your development of your skills within the dance, drama and music related to that uh, musical that you are performing. The final unit is Unit 3 and it's a devised unit that you do in groups. You are given a set stimulus by the exam board and then you have got free reign to go and create your piece of theatre and it can include dance, drama or music or a range of all of those three. Alongside the devised piece you'll also produce four milestones which will document that process of devising that you have gone through, looking at different techniques development of material, um, composition and choreography. And that is an externally assessed unit which all your work gets sent off, but it's not an exam as such, it's still coursework based. So out of the four units over the two years, there's only one written exam, but it is an open exam because you've got your notes. The rest of it is all coursework based, which is designed to help students who perhaps maybe struggle in exams, but have still got the drive and determination to succeed. In terms of who takes this course, we've had a full range. People often take the course if they're wanting a vocational practical based course because they're wanting to follow a career within the performing arts, or we've had students who have intentionally not wanted to go into performing arts, but who have enjoyed it and have used it to supplement other A-levels. The BTEC course is an academically rigorous course, um, and it does carry the same weighting and UCAS points as a normal A-level. So don't think of it as a soft option because it's certainly not. Having said that, it is very practical and if you enjoy dance, drama or music 
or all three, then I think you would enjoy the course. We also have a range of extracurricular trips that take place, either specifically um, performing arts based trips or kind of more general school wide trips. And we go to the theatre, we take part in workshops by West End professionals and we've even run trips in the past to London and New York. We're also very fortunate at the Associated Tix Forum to have many past students who have gone on to work professionally in the industry and quite often a lot of them will come back in and do workshops and classes and talks to inspire current students, particularly those that are wanting to follow a career in the performing arts industry. So we've been running the performing arts course here for a number of years and over those years we have prepared students for applications for top conservatoires. Some of our ex-students have gone on to study at Lane, Lippa, Mountview, ArtsEd, GSA and Erdang. If you would like any more information about the performing arts BTEC course at the Associated Sixth Form, please don't hesitate to get in touch and we're looking forward to seeing you very, very soon.